Okay, so now let's move on. We'll get into the juicy juicy. Um, are you single? I get this question. I'm getting this question a lot over the past year and a half. Um, but yes, I am single. I have been single since last year. I've made a video. Um, not I didn't make a video of, like about me being single, but I am single. I've been single. I didn't get into any new relationship or anything like that. I just got out of a very long relationship. Um, and yeah, so yeah, I'm single. Yeah, I'm single. Like, I don't know how else. Yes, I am. I'm single and I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Do you want more kids? I get this question a lot. I've literally been getting this question since Nia was a newborn. Okay. Like y'all were ready for me to have another baby after the first one. And I didn't even understand why you were asking me this question. My baby wasn't even walking yet. And I was getting this question, not just from you guys, but like people on the outside. Um, the answer to that question is I'm going to say no. It's, it's, it's a hard no for me right now. Um, I'm not going to say never say never, but yeah, no, um, I don't want any more kids. Um, I actually stopped talking to someone because he kept implying that he wanted kids, even though I kept saying I didn't want any more kids. Like he was like, uh, he had asked me, do you want any more kids? I was like, no, I don't want any more kids. And he was like, oh, okay. I can understand that. But you know, there's other ways to have kids. You can adopt, you can do that. I said, no, I'm not raising any more kids. I don't care where they come from. They're not coming here. I'm not raising another child. No, sir. Um, and so, yeah, no, I'm not having any more. Um, it's going to take a lot for me to get back to a place where I want to have another baby. So I'm just, I'm not interested in having, it took me a long time to even consider having Nia. And by the time I even think I may want to have another one, a homegirl is going to be damn near 40, probably 40 plus, And that's just not going to happen. And yeah, I'm just not really interested in raising another baby. I'm not going to say that it wasn't the best experience that I've had. It was carrying a baby, birthing a baby. There is nothing else in this world that will ever compare to that period. But that doesn't mean everyone has to do it. I'm not going to be like one of those people who are like, you should at least do it once. No, you do not have to do it once. There are other things that are fulfilling in your life as well besides having kids. I've always thought that regardless of what I'm doing, what I'm doing, there is always something else that is more fulfilling than having kids. Not more fulfilling, but just can just bring you as much fulfillment as having a child. So, yes, it is a amazing experience. And if you want to experience that, go for it. If that is not what you want to do, don't do it. That's where I stand. I'm not going to be like, you shouldn't leave try it once no you cannot return a baby you cannot send it back once you have a baby you have to commit to it for the rest of your life so and there are other things that equal fulfillment and make you feel um happy you know what i mean so like i said there is nothing like carrying a baby birthing a baby raising a child all that there is nothing like it there's nothing else in my life that i've been through that i can compare it to that they are there is nothing equivalent of having a baby or carrying a baby there's nothing equivalent of that but that doesn't mean you have to do it that's what I'm saying but no I don't want any more kids I went on a little tangent there but no I don't want any more this I'm good on that they're expensive and and yeah no I'm good oh would you ever do story time videos I actually do want to do a couple of story time videos um, I haven't thought about dumbing them yet because I don't want to do them like in here. I feel like story time should be done like sitting on the couch, chilling, you know, mukbang style or having some wine or something like that. Once my living room is back in order, I'm in the middle right now. So like my living room is a hot ass, it's actually not a hot ass mess, but it's not completed. Once I finish doing that, I may consider doing some um, story time videos. I definitely want to do them. I have some good stories. A lot of them I can't tell because a lot of the people, 
are still in my life, but there's still a lot that I can tell. And I want to actually, one of them is kind of based off is not based off of one of the questions that was asked, but one of the questions that were asked in here, it made me think of a particular story. So I definitely want to do some story times. Let me know some story times that you guys are interested in seeing. I know, I know I have a few in my mind that I'm thinking, but let me know some story times that you guys are interested in seeing. Um, or if you guys even want to see them, leave me a, a comment down below if you guys are interested. Um, but I definitely would like to do some. Um, do you want to get married? I got this question. I actually got this question like a few years ago and then I continuously started getting it most recent a lot. That was in my stories questions a lot. Do I want to get married and do I want more kids? Do I want to get married? Sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, at some point, I mean, I'm not like, I don't want to say desperate to get married, but I wouldn't mind being married, Mrs. Somebody. I would make a great wife. I make, I'm a great girlfriend, so I'll make a great wife. Um, but it has to be the right one and it has to be the right fit. And I haven't found that yet. And everybody that want me, I don't want. And the people I want don't want me. So until those two line up, <laughs> your girl ain't getting married. Do you feel me? <laughs> but I would like to get married someday at some point. But I'm not like... I need to get married now. Like, no, like I'm, I'm good. But eventually, sure, I want to get married. I'm a little unconventional. Like, I'm, I'm kind of not as like everybody else, I guess. I'm just a little, I'm a, I'm a free spirit. Like, I just, I want to go through life as simple and as just as possible. And if I end up on that road to get married, great. If not, great. I'm happy either way. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, I have about one. I have three more questions that were asked. Uh, I'm going to save that one for last. Um, what do you look for in a man? This is like a whole video in itself. Like that one question can spark a whole nother video, which if you guys want me to do a detailed video about what I look for in a man, Leave that down below. I don't wouldn't mind doing it. I, what I look for in a man, I'm going to keep it kind of short um, because I might do a whole separate video on this, but I want somebody who is confident, um, someone who I'm physically attracted to. I'm not going to act like physicality is not important. It is. I need somebody that I'm physically attracted to and that um, is independent someone who's ambitious someone who is understanding someone who is willing to learn someone who is willing to teach someone who is willing to grow um and not be stuck in their ways a lot of people like to use the term well that's just how i am um and that's fine but if you want somebody to accept who you are you have to explain to them who you are and make it clear don't just assume that people are going to communicate the way that you do and understand your way of communication you have to be able to give and take. If you can't give and take with me, then, you, you know, I just can't deal with that. To me, that's selfishness. And to me, that doesn't fit into who I am. Um, you have to love kids because obviously I come with one. And you probably have to come with one yourself because I don't want you thinking that I'm about to birth your seed because you don't have one. And now I got to feel like I owe you one. So I do you would prefer to be with a man who has a kid already or has a vasectomy because I don't even want a man that's going to be like, well, you know, what? I don't want any kids because then that's how you get into a situation where all of a sudden all their friends having babies and now they feel left out. Nope. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, no, no. Come with your own or come with that thing zipped up, tied up and thrown away. OK, period. <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna say about that um but that's just the basics I can get into a lot more detailed um obviously somebody who's loyal AF like loyal AF loyal AF like I said we can get to a whole nother video about that but <clears throat> those are like just some some quick things I can spread out in this this video um will we see your next man no y'all won't see him I mean, y'all barely saw my last one. Um, if y'all did, y'all saw him just like on Instagram and like the few videos that we did here. But no, y'all won't see him. He probably gonna be on low, low, low key. The next man y'all see on here will be my husband. 
and who knows how long that's gonna be and even if he is my husband y'all probably still won't see him okay um so yeah no y'all probably won't see him yeah, I mean my channel isn't really about that so there would really be no need for you to see whoever it is I'm dating because unless it's like on my vlog channel or something like that y'all don't really have a reason to see anybody that I'm dating and the last question is which is probably the shadiest question of them all is would you have a butt buddy I don't know where that question came from I don't even remember who asked the question I should have I should have broke the person's name next to that one would you have a butt buddy? A simple answer is yes. Um, the difficult answer is there's a way to do it and most people don't know how to do it. And, and most people get confused about what women expect and what men expect. And I'm not even talking about men. Like I ain't going to say what men, men expect and women. I'm going to be like what I expect and what they expect. So yes, I would. I think it could work. I think there is a way to be friends with benefits without the other person catching feelings. But I think there's a way to do it. And you have to know the person that you're doing it with and how they do it. Okay? So that's what I would say to that. That is actually going to be a separate video. And I'm actually going to do a story time about that specific topic. Um, it's going to be how I managed to have a successful butt buddy. I know you guys are like, girl, but I am going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it, how that particular experience was successful. And what I mean, when, when what I consider a successful fuck buddy, sorry, I didn't mean to say fuck buddy, but that's what it is. How to successfully do a fuck buddy is what worked for me. And I'm going to talk about it because... A lot of people say that you can't do it or women can't do it, but we are capable of doing it. But for me specifically, I'm going to explain to you how, if I'm in that situation, how I need it to go. So that's actually going to be an upcoming video. I might film it later on tonight if I still have this face on. If not, I'll film it next weekend when I do something else. Um, but that is where I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. I hope you enjoyed the video like this. If you guys have any more type of questions, leave them down in the comment section. You guys asking me some questions. Um, I'm glad I got this video done. This is about the third time I tried to film it, but it was like a party. Like, like we're supposed to be on lockdown and I'm just hearing music outside all day. So I'm um, hopefully when I go to put this on my computer, it doesn't sound like everybody and their mama was outside. Um, and I'll try to like, tone that out as much as I can because I'm not filming this again but definitely thank you for stopping in and checking out my channel and watching this video if you already made it all the way to the end you might as well just thumbs up this video and subscribe and just just join the community here I'm growing so thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel if you've made it to the end then you might as well just hit subscribe and turn your notifications on and yeah I will see you guys in my next one. If you want these earrings, they're on my site, by the way. Shameless plug. It is on the site. I know y'all been looking at them the whole video because I've been looking at them the whole video. But I will have a link for my shop down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.